For us to scrape this data, in case you want to go through this process and scrape this data, these are the things we're going to do. You need to install Anaconda on your system. Anaconda is a, you know, is an app that allows you to run Python or R script in an easy to use manner. And it comes with Jupyter Notebook, which makes it easy to write Python code in an interactive manner. Or have Visual Studio code depends on what you know how to use. For me, I'm just going to go straight to Anaconda because it comes installed with Python and the rest. And um, so because I have this installed already, I'm just going to locate Jupyter Notebook on my system. And it brings up this prompt and this prompt will load my browser and it's going to open up Jupyter Notebook. This is what this looks like. Then locate the data you've downloaded. Um, for me, it's in my download. That script, that I mean, not data now, that's the script, which is the 30DL tweet script. That is the script. I don't want you to go through any stress because you might have not have this package installed. That is why RBTF pip install SNS script. If you have by default, pandas will be installed once you install Python and the rest, but this might not be installed. So you need to just remove the two pound sign, hash sign, and then run the script. This will install SNS script, um, SNS script which is the library I'm using to, to spool this data. And if I run this, because I have it installed already, it's, you know, it's going to fulfill it because it's already installed. It has already been installed. And for you, it's going to install and you need internet access to actually run this installation. And I'm going to put back the hash to turn it to a comment, I mean I don't need you again. And right here, I'm saying import pandas as PD. Pandas is the library for manipulating our data frame, our data in a tabular manner. And I'm just shortening it by giving it this alias PD. And this is the, you know, SNS script. We are from SNS script. We are actually importing the modules Twitter and we want to call it SN Twitter, which is the alias. And right there, because I don't want to bug you with the codes. You know, you are just there to with the data, but this is just to show you that. When you continue to go advanced, you might want to source data from other sources that are not straightforward, and you might need to learn how to use Python to scrape this kind of data. So this is the script we are, we are query we are writing that the library will take and go over to Twitter and search for those details and bring those um, value we're interested in, interested in back to us. You see, anywhere you see 30, 30 days of learning or NG 30 days of learning between, you know, since... 1st of May till 26th of June. Okay, let's just make it mid, mid May. That's a uh, 15th. Uh, I think I started that early, um, third or fifth, fifth of May. Let's make it fifth of May. And, um, yeah, all these, I don't want to bore you with it, but it's just the functions we've written to get the data. So this is what we're looking for. The date, the URL, the username, all these details are already here, and that is the column. We are renaming them here onto these columns. So we're going to have more columns to work with. And once we are done scraping this data and putting it in a data uh, in a variable called df, now I want to convert my df. This df is tabular, but I want to convert it to an Excel file, export to Excel, and that's what I'm doing right here. Uh, df dot to csv csv file, which you can easily import in Excel or Power BI. Right, so I'm just going to run, just is to run this. I'm going to run by using um, shift OK. I didn't run the import. That is why he's saying I don't have access to this guy. So I'm going to run this import first. Yeah, I'm asking import. OK, he's done importing now. Then I'm going to run this. This might take some time because it's really going right now live. You must have internet connection going live to Twitter and using those queries to look for data and tweets that matches it and gathering all this information about them, the date, the tweet URL, the user, the source, the location, the tweet, the likes count, the retweet count, the quote count, the reply count. Okay, it's done. You can see now it's done and it has stored it as 30DL tweet CSV in my, uh, my direction wherever I'm running this code query from. And I just want to visualize data because data is also inside DF. So I'm saying df.add, which is the first five at the top. And this one is bringing up for me. Say, okay, the date, the tweet URL, the user, the person that made that tweet, the source. 
uh, is it for Twitter, for Android, Twitter for web, Twitter for, you know, um, iPhone location. Uh, some of them are not recorded depending on the um, what you set, you know, the way you set your Twitter, should they capture your location or not? That is why we are seeing some locations and some not recorded. And you see tweet, what was the exact tweet that we have there? The likes count, how many likes, the retweet count, the quotes count, the reply count, which are all that we've asked for right here. Okay, so, and if I do a description as well, just give me five number summary, which is what I always call it. It's saying, oh, the total count of tweets is 680 and the mean others, we don't actually need them yet. All right, so we've been able to save this. In case you can go through this process, this same data that we've exported now, and we don't have it available as well in our GitHub profile, you will see it right there. So um, just download the CSV file and proceed to use Power Query to bring it into Power BI. If you want to do any cleaning, you do those cleaning there, then you can flow into um, the learning for today. Thank you and bye.